Hi, I hope you're well. I have just done a video for you uh, of me blow drying my hair um, into this really nice sleek bob with a bit of body, some volume and some really nice shape. I have used the Dyson Airwrap and the round brush. Really simple tutorial. Uh, there's so many people wanting to know how to use the round brush to create a bit of volume and a bit of shape. If that's you, then carry on watching the video and I will show you exactly how you can use the Dyson Airwrap and the round brush to create um, a look similar to this on your own hair at home. If you're new to my channel, then a massive hello and welcome. Lots of hair tutorials, a bit of skincare and some makeup, but mainly hair tips and hair tutorials. So if that's what you're here for, then you're in the right place. If you're already a follower or a subscriber to my channel, then um, hello and welcome back. It's lovely to have you here again. And I hope you find my next video very I've interesting. I've already prepped my hair. I've applied some of the Tweet by Nature. It's the Conditioning Thickening Foam. Um, this adds, it's a conditioning treatment which adds weightless volume and also some definition to your hair. So when you're trying to get really good root lift um, and make your hair look a lot thicker without it feeling as if it's laden with products, then this is a highly recommended product. I really like that one. Um, it's a really nice foam. You don't need to use a lot of it, um, just a small amount and then um, you're good to go. So my hair um, is, I've, I've blast dried it off a little bit so that it's not too wet. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by using the um, round brush um, on the Dyson Air app. I'm going to use it on the medium temperature setting, um, at, but I'm going to use it on the full airflow. And I'm just going to start off by sectioning my hair um, in a horseshoe shape from ear, from the top of each ear um, and pin this bit out of the way so it makes it easier to work with. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to switch the air wrap on and I'm going to start by blow drying the roots and I'm going to lift it up and away from my head and I'm just going to keep going in at the roots until um, the roots are dry and then I'm going to finish off the ends. Um, but it's really important that we always dry the roots first so you get the maximum root lift. Just finishing it off with a blast of cold air. And then when I take it out, you can actually see the root lift that I've got here with just that really nice soft bend around the ends to give it a bit of shape. Um, so I'm gonna carry on doing this now um, on the other side and the back, um, and then I'll come back to you when I'm doing my next section. And then the next section I'm going to take from the temple each side, straight across, and pin this next section up out of the way. And then I'm just going to repeat exactly the same. Start off by drying the roots and then finishing the ends and then cooling the hair down with the cool shot. Now going in with the cold air. So you can see I've got the root lift, but then I've got that really nice bit of shape um, and bend under at the ends. If you wanted to have it more um, of a, a bend at the ends, then what I would do is I would roll it all the way up with warm air, then cool it down, and you'll get a sharper C bend at the end. next section I'm going to start here and I'm going to just run my fingers through my hair and I'm going to go into like a triangle section towards the crown of my head so I'm taking this top section um, more of a triangle so I don't if you can see it's not very neat but um, you can see the sort of it's at the crown I'm going in this triangle effect here and then I'll pin that up out of the way and I shall do that section last So you can see how that's shaping up nicely. Now, I'm just going to do the very top section here. 
um, which is my triangle section. And I'm going to start just by taking the very back bit across. And then I'm going to blow dry this back so you've got some root lift at the crown. And you can see I'm actually bringing the hair forward. You can see that. And that's going to make the roots come forward and back, which is what's going to give you your root lift. And then I'm just going to cool that hair down. And you can see that the, the root lift that that's given me at the crown, um, which is a lot more flattering than having it really flat to your head. Um, so with that, all you do is you bring the hair forward, keep brushing it forward, cool it down, and then when you release it, um, it falls really nicely. Now this is another tip. Uh, I've had quite a few people asking me how to blow dry um, bangs that are growing out, because obviously, you know, with the lockdown, you're not able to get your hair trimmed. So rather than cut your own fringe, um, people have asked me how to blow dry it uh, growing out. Well, mine's growing out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do that now using the round brush. So I'm going to start my last section. I'm going to start just by blow drying it underneath. And again, lifting it up and away from my head to get that root lift. I'm going to keep brushing it through until it's dry. And now it's dry, I'm going to go through with the cold air. And then I'm going to roll the hair back so it's like a roller. Pull it down. And then when you pull it out, you can see the lift that I've got here. So that when you brush it back, you get that really nice quiff. Now, um, so that this bit isn't hanging over my face, I'm going to just blow dry it back now. So again, just going over that piece of hair here. And then just taking the ends back, pulling it down. And then when you release it, you get that really nice quiffy flick. If you had a centre parting, then you would do exactly the same. In fact, I could actually now put this in a centre parting and it would still hang really well. So I'll just demonstrate that for you. So I could wear it in centre parting. Just pull those bits down a little bit. So you've got the nice flicky out bits. You've got some movement at the crown, a bit of volume, and you've got that nice bit of shape at the ends. It just goes through the ends here. But I'm gonna put it back in a side parting. So, really easy to use this actually is probably one of the least used brushes um, but it's so easy to use you can do all sorts of blow dries with it and um, it's really good if you just wanted to give yourself a little bit of lift at the crown if you're using um, the smoothing brush you could use the round brush just to curl the ends under a little bit more if you wanted more of a definition around the bottom so it is actually a really good um, a really good attachment to have with your air wrap. I'm going to just give it a little bit more volume because I don't like my hair to be too smooth and too tidy. I like it a bit messy. So I've, um, I'm going to use some of the Tweaked by Nature. It's the 2XL Fiber Lift. This is a really good product for creating volume on smooth hair or um, curly hair, or if you've done a really big bouncy blow dry and you want it to be really voluminous, this is a really good product. All you do is you take a section and check the can. And then what you need to do is you actually need to hold it from a distance from your head. So about here, and you do two squirts. And that's all you need to do. And then what you do is you massage it in at the roots. And the more you massage it, the bigger it gets. And then you can just keep building that product up. Um, I'm just going to do my fringe section here. Perfect. Gives it a bit more vomph. 
which is exactly what I like when I'm doing my hair. You don't want anything too neat. And then just to finish it off, just to give it a bit of staying power, I'm going to use some of the Tweaked by Nature Tame Pear Spray. This is really good product for um, as a holding spray, but also if you've got really frizzy hair, or you know you're you're blow drying your hair smooth from curly. Um, this actually stops it tames it so it stops the frizz so this is a really good product just as a finishing off spray so that's the end of my little video for today i hope you enjoyed watching it i hope you found it interesting if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below i will leave a link to all of the products that i have used in this video in the description box so if anybody's interested in having a look at those products then you can just click on the link and it will take you directly to and the website to have a look at the products um, and in the meantime have a lovely day and I will see you in my next video till then take care bye bye